Hello, welcome to our um, video discussion for um, the minerals. Okay, so this is uh, the continuation uh, of our um, topics for the midterm. Okay, so of course, um, you know that we are already done with the macronutrients as well as the organic micronutrients, which are your vitamins. So let's proceed to the inorganic micro mi, micronutrients and those are your minerals okay i don't know if i have already given this uh, or um whether i've um already uploaded this in your google, google classroom but this is actually the summary of the micronutrients so appeal na diri ang vitamins nimo no and of course your minerals so um so I will just leave this um to your own reading because um you are you are already familiar with this because um all of the points here, especially kaning there is an intro part no, I have been discussing this um all the time no when 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 I discuss or when I um have um my lecture with you so. Um, appeal na niya sa ato mga discussion. So, you just have to read this. Okay. Um, ang kanindot, ano nga, nga document is, na anadiritanan. Um, di summarize na na ko. So, the, the micronutrient, and then its key function, and then its main food sources, and other important notes that are important to know uh, with that particular nutrient. Okay, so na diri ang minerals ni mo, and then na diri ang vitamins of course. Okay. So, okay, so I have already summarized this for you. Um, so I will just upload it together with this video in your Google Classroom. So, um, of course your minerals are categorized into two generally into two no we have the macro minerals and then the micro minerals so from the ter from the terms themselves um you would know that the macro minerals are those minerals that compose um that compose the major composition of uh, the mineral content in the body as well as they are also found in our food sources in larger amounts compared to the micro minerals so kaning macro minerals ni mo no um they are larger in amount both in our body and in the foods that we eat okay so that's why they are called as the major minerals or the macro minerals so we actually have seven macro minerals um although this is debatable no but uh, most of scientists and nutritionists um, agree that there are only seven uh, major minerals or seven macro minerals and these are your calcium phosphorus potassium sodium um, sulfur chloride and then the last one but not the least is magnesium okay so naani siya diri actually sa kanina powerpoint uh, that i'm showing you now ga record pa ba ko okay sige just want to make sure okay so um yes yeah, so what i have said um see ako sa ni enlarge ah the powerpoint show na lang na ako. okay so these are the minerals in your body okay so calcium is actually um the the most abundant mineral in our body so it is mostly found in our bones okay so yeah our skeletal system a young foundation you know, is calcium okay so that's why um the most abundant mineral goes to your calcium and then the next one is phosphorus down to magnesium okay so actually no si sulfur it's the fourth uh, most abundant mineral even more abundant than your sodium okay so yeah and then um those minerals that are not considered major minerals are called micro minerals okay
Okay? So, kaning mga microminerals nimo we have iron, zinc, copper, iodide, and so and so forth. So, iron is the most abundant micromineral. Okay? Well, we'll discuss more of this when we reach the topic of microminerals. So, let's uh, first discuss the macro minerals. Yeah, so di ba nag-ingon ko ganina that minerals are considered inorganic micronutrients. Okay? So unlike your vitamins that they are composed of carbon and high and hydrogen, they are hydrocarbon. So that's why they are considered as organic because they compose of not just carbon but also hydrogen. Okay? Your minerals on the other hand are not considered organic because they are um, their own atoms and they are not um, associated with any hydrocarbon so that's why they are called as inorganic but it doesn't mean that if they are considered as inorganic it doesn't mean that they are not needed in human nutrition because we need yeah it's it's the complete um, opposite no that um, yeah uh, we need minerals in order to grow, develop, and survive. So, they are definitely essential in human nutrition. Okay? Um, there are a lot of minerals found in our body. But, kaning akong i-discuss, no, maulang ni sila ang proven yet to have, to, to play um, a role in human body processes. Okay? So, that means they are indispensable um in uh the functioning of the human body so that's why they must be present okay or else um homeostasis would um definitely would definitely go off balance okay so yeah um these are the the important rules no, of your macro minerals so sige um, ang first no is they serve as electrolytes. Okay? Yeah. Second is they are um, the structural foundation of bones of your skeletal system. Okay, so yeah. So katong sa electrolytes no we have um sodium, of course you know that sodium is the most important electrolyte. Then we also have your potassium, okay, chloride, phosphate. So, all of those are macro minerals. And, um, what's that? They are um, the foundation of the structure of the skeletal system. Yeah. Um, we have your calcium. Okay. And your phosphate. So, those two are the major minerals composing the hydroxyapatite. You know that the um, structural um, ingredient in bone formation is hydroxyapatite so it's actually calcium phosphate no yeah other minerals that compose your bone hydroxyapatite are magnesium okay then naasad fluoride okay so little did we know no na, na day fluoride yeah very important pud ang fluoride no sa atong bones so not just in our teeth but also in our bones but um uh, very minute amount lang of fluoride ang naasa atong bones but important ya po sila nga present sa uh, in in the structure of the bone okay um being electrolytes so therefore they are also important in maintaining fluid balance okay because you i i you have already learned that um during our discussion for water and electrolytes di ba um para maattain nato ang water balance kinahanglan pud og electrolyte balance because they must be paired up. Okay? Kaya kung naay water imbalance, definitely na asad electrolyte imbalance. Okay? So, they are actually um, the ones that are being regulated, no? Their, their levels in the blood are being regulated by many important hormonal systems in the body. So, as what I've discussed, katong sa water electrolytes ni mo, ba? We have katong renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. So, di ba, katong, uh, if there is a need to release sodium, okay, so, yeah, uh, the renin uh, angi angiotensin aldosterone system should be inhibited para ma-release ang water because that hormonal system 
ang iyahang main function di ba is to is to conserve water and sodium yeah para uh, mutaas ang blood pressure then mutaas ang blood plasma volume okay yeah so um sa kana man pud nga hormonal system dili lang sodium ang affected no but also potassium because you know that antagonistic ang effect ni sodium and then ni potassium with each other so if si sodium it increases the blood pressure si potassium ni mo it decreases the blood pressure so that's why if there is a need to excrete extra sodium out of the body that means it conserve the si dili dapat i-release si potassium so that ang goal which is to decrease the blood pressure would be attained and uh, for the opposite if um, kinahanglan increase ang blood pressure because um, the body is, is experiencing hypotension as well as hypovolemia ang mahitabo guys no is to conserve sodium and to Therefore, kung i-conserve na itong sodium, sa may tabo sa potassium, excrete, i-release na to. Because again, antagonistic ang ang ilahang effect sa body. Okay? So, bali. Bali ang himuon sa body, no? Uh, with regard to the sodium and potassium. Okay? So, that's why they are very critical uh, as well in the fluid balance. Because again, um, si sodium o si water ni mo magparis, yun na sila. Okay, kung mawala si water then mawala sad si sodium kung mas conserve si water then ma conserve sad si sodium okay the other um, function that uh, most of your macro minerals participate in is in muscle contraction okay so later no i will show you um, a powerpoint presentation that would um, delve into the individual um, roles of your macro minerals in muscle contraction. So, part of that is maintaining heartbeat because you know that, um, yeah, the heartbeat is, um, of course, involved the cardiac muscles. Okay, so yeah, kina, uh, in order to to move that heart, kinahanglan po niya mag, mag contract and then mag relax si cardiac muscles ni mo and then para ma-attain na siya nga cycle kinahanglan ang participation sa imuhang mga macro minerals so actually no katong mga macro minerals nga ga participate sa muscle contraction we have your calcium magnesium chloride sodium potassium okay so they are all macro minerals Another one, in nerve transmission or in nerve impulse transmission. Okay, para maka-generate tag ka ng, kung ano, para maka-communicate ang neuron to a muscle, um, kinahanglan mag-send o impulse ang atong nervous system, di ba? So, say for example, if your brain wants to move your left arm, so, it has to generate a nerve impulse to the muscles that are part of the of your left arm. So, that movement would be stimulated and would then be realized. Kaya, dili man, dili man na siya maghulag if dili ni mo tuyuon. So, that's why kung tuyuon ni mo mag-move ang imong left arm, actually, um, ang mahitabo ana is your brain is um, producing a nerve impulse to the muscles that are associated with the left arm so that ma-move siya. Okay? So, actually, ang pag-transmit of nerve impulse, kinahanglan niya po ng mga macro minerals. So, naagya po niya si calcium, then si sodium, potassium, okay? Then si chloride. Okay. So, mauto sila ang mga mga functions that are common to the most of the minerals. Okay? Ang medyo kuan lang no, ang medyo add lang sa ilaha is si sulfur. Okay? Or um it's not actually in the sulfur form because when you say sulfur, isara na ang sulfur atom. Um we can appropriately call it a sulfate. Kay kaning sulfate ni mo na siya ang fo uh, form of sulfur sa atong body. So si sulfate ni mo is associated with amino acids. Okay, so recall that we have amino acids that contain your sulfur. We have, unsaman, unsaman itong mga 
um, uh, amino acids. We have your methionine and your cysteine, di ba? So, those amino acids contain a sulfur atom. So, they, they are actually the main and then the most important source of sulfate of the body. So, kaning mga sulfate nga ginagamit nato for our for for the body processes kay gikan sa methionine ug cysteine. Okay? So, they are the bearers of your sulfate. Anyways, okay, mura mura na gi-discuss na ko tanan nga nga part ani nga PowerPoint. But yeah. Okay. So, para at least dili na ta magdugay um in the preceding slides. So your major minerals, um, we need them more than 100 milligrams per day. Okay, so that's why among the minerals, kanil kanilang pito no ang pasok aning a criterion, because we need them more than 100 milligrams per day, and then they are present in our body, a uh, minimum of five grams. Okay, yeah, six lang gani ang gibutang diri no, but it's actually seven. Kay kani manggud nga PowerPoint medyo old na. Then, what I give time, guys, nga magimu pa og PowerPoint. So that's why napansin siguro ninyo na ako ibang PowerPoints nga gi-download ra nako from the internet. But yeah, um na ay mga certain portions that are not yet updated, but um uh, gina-update man pud nako sa akong discussion gyud. So that's why dili good enough no nga ipasa lang nako ang PowerPoint without even explaining it. Okay? Because um nay uban nga ma-mislead mo. Okay, for example, kani Six dietary minerals. No, we have seven. So say kulang the calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chloride. O sa may kulang magnesium. Okay, si magnesium ang wala na butang dery. Okay. Yapil si magnesium kay. Um, we need magnesium man. I think mga 150 milligrams. Tan awo na tong PDRI nato for magnesium. More than 100 milligrams. Oi. And then. Uh, mo, mo surpass aning 5 grams uy gamay ra kay ning 5 grams okay yeah so yeah they are inorganic yeah ako ana na siya na ko ano na discuss but um during uh, digestion uh unsa una to pag extract sa minerals from the dietary matrix um they are, they are just spontaneously released when uh digestive enzymes work Although they, uh, we don't have um any specific enzyme that 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 specifically functions on releasing the minerals out of the dietary matrix. Kay um during the digestion process mango during sa pag breakdown sa foods. Kinahanglan ba yung uh, different participations of many enzymes? Then uh on the process, marilis na imohang mga minerals. Okay. So, wala yun um, specific nga enzyme nga, ay, kani para ma-release si calcium from the, you know, from the bound form nga makitaan sa diet. So, wala actually. Uh, they are spon they are just spontaneously um released during the general digestion process. Okay? Uh, yeah, so that's why they remain intact during digestion. Okay? So, bioavailability, degree the nutrient from food. Yeah, I have already discussed this one. Okay. So, mauni siya, no? Ang mga dapat na to i-review. So, other nutrients can improve bioavailability. So, I have told you um in the discussion for vitamin C that one of the essential functions of vitamin C is to enhance iron absorption. Especially the absorption of non-heme iron, which we will discuss later kung saan asya. Vitamin D enhances calcium. Of course, that's the function of your vitamin D, di ba? As a hormone in order to stimulate the absorption of calcium. Then, animal protein. Yeah. Animal protein enhances zinc absorption. Okay. Then, there are also those um, anti-nutrients that reduce bioavailability. So, we have your oxalates, phytates, and polyphenols. So, between these three, no, si phytate, yud, um, the most potent anti-nutrient kay dagan kayo siya gina-inhibit dagan kayo siya nga, nga gina-reduce no ang bioavailability sa mga minerals so we have um, the bioavailability of iron, zinc um, calcium 
because kaning phytate manggut kay grabe iyahang binding affinity to these minerals so that's why if your diet is high in phytate most likely um the absorption of those minerals would be lessened because si phytate would tend to bind those minerals uh, that are that would later on be unavailable for the body's absorption so they would they would just be excreted along with the phytate kay dito sila magbind Okay. And then um um unfortunately pud wala pud tay enzyme in the digestive tract that that destroys phytate. So kaning mga ruminants nimo, kaning mga cows, mga herbivores na to actually. Um they are actually able to produce phytase. So phytase is an enzyme that degrades your phytates. So that's why bisag magkaon sila ng mga sagbot, kay kanang mga sagbot nimo daghan gyud nagphytate. Um maabsorb gyud po nila ang mga minerals. It's because they have their intestines are able to produce phytase which you know would destroy this phytate. And uh the result would be to would be Uh, an increase of the bioavailability of these minerals. Okay. Okay. So, you just have to read this. Okay. So, yeah. Sa mani. Murag na lahit na lagi ning kuan ani ba? Okay. So kani ang um, na-discuss naman nako ni siya kani nga mga kaning tulong nga mga anti-nutrient no that decreases the bioavailability of nutrients. So you just have to read this. Okay. Okay. Uh, mineral balance is highly controlled. So the GI tract regulates absorption based on needs. So you have learned guys nga if kulang ang ang minerals sa atong body the GI tract would tend to absorb more of these minerals from our diet so based on the body pool size so if the body pool size for minerals is small then the the intestines would compensate for it so it would tend to absorb more minerals so to compensate for the lack of minerals in our body pool size or in our body pool okay So based on needs na to. Mineral functioning in intestines are either excreted in feces or reabsorbed via large intestines. So kidneys, yeah. Um aside from um our digestive system, no kidneys also play a role in excreting excess and also in reabsorbing minerals. So say for example, if there is an yeah, um related put to sa Um, especially when we want to regulate the electrolyte levels. So, if, for example, kulang ang sodium, so your kidneys would not, would not rather excrete um, sodium para makonserve si sodium ni mo, para dili mo sa mot o baba ang sodium levels. Okay? So, based yapon sa need sa body. Of course, kung naisubra din, your kidneys would tend to excrete the excess um, portion. Yeah, so um katong ganina giingon nako uh, they are found I uh, they are um uh, they function in the fluid balance. So that's why Excuse me. So um they actually do this function no by serving as the electrolytes, okay? So they actually um maintain the neutrality no of the charges. So kung pila ang charge diri sa sa inside of the cell ah kani intracellular mausad pud ang total nga charge sa sa outside the cell. Okay? So sa katong gi-discuss nako sa um water and electrolytes. So, ang gamintin sa electrical neutrality are your electrolytes that happen to be the major minerals. Okay, so, 
you have to remember always guys ha unsa tong um unsa tong um mineral nga mas abundant sa intracellular compared to the extracellular di ba kung sa intracellular di ba si potassium predominates but outside of the cell or extracellular sodium predominates than the potassium okay so therefore the major intracellular electrolyte is potassium and then the major extracellular electrolyte is sodium okay so you have to remember that always yeah okay tani so um how how does the um electrolyte balance affect fluid balance kay kung naay uh, for example uh, ni daghan ang sodium diri no sa kanang kuan sa sulod sa cell so your your cell your cells would tend to um absorb more water from the outside portion so mag swell ang cell and then of course um it would not be good okay kay pwede mag burst ang cell and then mag shrink siya okay so dapat balance ang electrolyte levels level so that ang fluid balance kay maattain pud okay um kaning ko factor they are not um the function of your macro minerals but instead they are the function it is the function of your micro minerals okay your micro minerals serve as cofactors for enzymes okay but ang macro minerals nimo wala wala actually um siguro ang magnesium ug calcium they participate they serve as cofactors in other um enzymes but dili kayo siya um ina ang fang kung if we take um the major minerals generally um the the function of being cofactor is not one of their main functions instead it is one of the main functions of the micro minerals so di ba um recall that your water soluble vitamins they are instead called as coenzymes because nagingon pud ko sa discussion no nga ang coenzymes they are the organic helpers of enzyme and then the inorganic helpers of enzymes are the cofactors so actually parehas na ang function ni cofactors og ni coenzymes it's just that ang term nga coenzymes is reserved for the vitamins and then ang term nga cofactors is reserved for the inorganic nutrients which are your minerals Okay so same ra gyapon nga for example if ang cofactor ani nga enzyme is selenium so dili maka work ang kana nga enzyme if wala si selenium okay so an important um an example of that is glutathione peroxidase and recall that glutathione peroxidase is involved in the recycling of the vitamin C di ba katong gipakita na ko sa vitamin E nga antioxidant system. Okay, so your glutathione peroxidase would not work without selenium as its cofactor. So it's part of the antioxidant systems. Okay? Energy production an example of an enzyme that is um that is um or that includes a cofactor is the enzyme ATPase. So ATPase um from the term itself no it this it breaks down ATP para mag-yield og um energy. Okay? So si ATPase mag-work lang siya kung naay magnesium. Okay? So magnesium is the cofactor for that enzyme. Mm, muscle contraction uh we'll discuss that later no. Um, and then nerve transmission. Okay, later said. Okay, katong akong uh, parehas na siyang uh, kuan. It's any nga illustration no katong gipakita na ako sa coenzyme sa water soluble vitamins. Yeah, katong ingon na kung calcium hydroxyapatite. Okay, so you know that this is the building material for the skeletal system. Okay? It is actually calcium phosphate. Yeah, um 
of course like you like the other nutrients minerals um can also be toxic okay dili pud maayo if sobra sobra nga to ang intake sa minerals so yeah so but um toxicity cases no of minerals um are due to consumption of supplements so supplements na sad so notice that i have been demonizing the use of um supplements all throughout my discussion because that's true okay so um yeah so although um supplements can be um helpful especially if your diet is really lacking or or for some in or for some valid reasons you cannot take a balanced diet so that's only the time no that you are allowed to take supplements but if you really if but if you can um you know um have a complete healthy and balanced diet then there's no need for you to take supplements okay beside nga pwede siya makadaot sa lawas kaso gasto ra pud siya okay costly ra siya and then wala ra pud di ay gyapon use because again um they can be toxic Yes, what I have told you, calcium is the most abundant mineral in the body, and it's actually a divalent cation. So it's a cation, di ba? Cation is a positive ion. It has it has two valence, okay? So ang valence niya is two, so that's why it's called Ca two plus. So ninety nine percent of body's calcium are located in bones and teeth, okay? So kaning nga mga food sources no you just have to take note of this. Um kung gusto ninyo makuan like naka summarize na ang main food sources so diri ra tan out magtan ra mo diri kun nga table. <coughs> okay. Okay, sige. Okay. So kani basa on sad pud ninyo ni. Okay? Yeah, ang absorption pud kay depende lagi sa body pool size. Okay, you know that already. Okay, uh, let's recall um how does the body maintain calcium levels? So katong akong gidiskahan sa vitamin D, di ba? Katong the roles of parathormone or the parathyroid hormone and versus the the role of um ano sa to calcitonin okay or calcitonin okay so yeah katong akong gidiscuss so you just have to recall that um your calcium is um important kid kaayo siya nga mineral yeah because it's for bones okay so that's why um kanang Ah, from from the kuan pa no, from from infancy, then you know that ang ang sole food source sa pat sa infants, especially zero to six months, okay, dapat milk, and then ah milk contains a lot of calcium because the infant needs that for um bone building, okay, so the the main material of or yeah the building material of bones is katong calcium hydroxyapatite katong calcium phosphate okay so yeah imagine if kulang ang calcium then um bone development would be compromised okay okay i must emphasize guys no nga during Um, hypocalcemic situation so meaning gamay ang calcium levels um, ang portion sa bone nga kuwaan o calcium no, is kaning sa sulod ang tawag na is trabecular bone or the spongy bone so diri actually magkuha ang atong body no, of calcium diri, si, diri, diri siya maghilis okay? hiliso niya ni So for example, chronic na kaayo no nga imong body is kulang gyud og calcium. So imagine mo, humok ni siya. And then imagine na lang mag mahimo nagka nang ko ano. Um 
mag, pwede siya mag-progress into osteomalacia and osteoporosis. Another, um, okay, dili lang for bones ha, ang kanang, unsa ni, ang function ni calcium ni mo, but it's also very important in muscle contraction. Okay, so I will, um, show you li- later in another slide, no, kung, um, unsa yun specifically yung role. And in nerve transmission, okay, very important si calcium. The absence of calcium, um, would, um, not make nerve transmission possible. And blood clotting. Okay? Calcium is very uh, important in the production of thrombin. You know that thrombin is the one that uh, converts fibrinogen to fibrin and then fibrin is, you know, the one that ansani, that seals the wound. So, to stop the bleeding. Okay? Say, Si calcium in blood clotting serves as the cofactor for the enzymes involved in the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Okay? Yeah, okay. Calcium may also prevent colon cancer by protecting lining of tract from caustic and abrasive substances. And uh, calcium reduces the risk of kidney stones. So, calcium binds to oxalates in foods. So, maupod na no, nga, one of the components of the medical nutrition therapy for nephrolithiasis or kidney stones is to increase the calcium intake para masuppress ang formation of calcium oxalates and kanimang good ang oxalates ni mo ang um, one of the most abundant forms of kidney stones. So, para dili mag, dili maabsorb si oxalate and dili siya mag-contribute into um, kidney stone formation na si calcium to bind it. So, to make it unavailable for absorption. Then, of course, it reduces the risk of obesity by normalizing interactions between hormones. So, inadequate calcium shifts hormonal response of PTH and calcitriol which may stimulate fat production and storage. Kanipod. Um, yeah, so, cal- so, if enough imong calcium, so, dili rama on sa name, uh, dili ira pud mag over secret ang imuhang parathyroid gland o parathyroid hormone kani mang good skinning parathyroid hormone it is also it also plays uh, a role in fat deposition so dili na nako na siya i-discuss ang exact mechanisms ana but yeah all you need to know is that calcium uh, reduces the risk of obesity uh, in in that kanang particular um role no so, our PDRI for calcium, you just have to check it, okay, sa tong PDRI, no? So, um, when, so, if calcium um, deficiency is called hypocalcemia, ang calcium toxicity is called hypercalcemia, so too much calcium in the blood. So, symptoms are the following. Dilipod maayo po guys, no, nga, daghan ang imong intake sa calcium. Okay? Kaya nga naman, dagan pwede mahitabo. Okay? The first effect would be, um, what's the name? Um, displacement of other minerals, of other divalent minerals. So, kaning mga divalent manggod na to, like calcium, what's the mga divalent minerals? Uh, ferrous or iron. Then, we also have zinc. Okay, so, mga divalent na sila kay 2 plus ilahang charge. So, they share the same transporter in our intestines. So, para maabsorb sila, they require the same set of transporters. So, kung, mudag, kung, kung daghan kayo calcium, so, mas mutaas ang affinity sa calcium for this transporter. So, uh, wala na hinoon transporters nga mabilin nga magbind for the other divalent minerals so ma-display sang other minerals nato for absorption so that's why balance ang atong intake sa kaning mga divalent uh, minerals para um di, dili ma-compromise ang absorption sa uban nga divalent minerals because they share the same transporter okay in the intestines for absorption. So, maulagin na nga, if you take minerals, uh, if you take, sorry, if you take supplements, 
most likely inanang mahitabo. Then wala ka kay baluba nga daghan kayo ang calcium. Ah, uh, sobra-sobra kayo ang calcium. Then yeah, ma deficient na hinuon ka sa ubang minerals kay dili ka ka-absorb ang ubang minerals tungod kay taas kayo ang calcium, dili balance. And usually mauna ang condition sa mga supplements. Okay? So that's why nakaingon diri no impairs absorption of um iron zinc magnesium and phosphate magnesium is also um a divalent mineral yeah hypocalcemia okay mao ni ang mahitabo no actually this is uh osteoporosis na so bangag na gyud siya guys yung supposedly dili inani sa trabecular bone ni siya nga part okay so may mong porous may mong brittle ang imuhang Uh, bone so that's why very prone na ni siya no sa fracture mao ni siyang may tabo sa osteoporosis especially sa mga elderly no okay but kani siya may tabo no may tabo ni in many years okay nga kulang ang imuhang calcium do not take a calcium supplement at the same time of day as an iron supplement because of kato explanation nako na Nakatong mag-compete sila for the same transporter in the intestines. So, for example, um, mudaghan sa dang iron. Okay, so makompromise po ng calcium absorption. Okay, so, um, kaya nga naman, um, nidaghan naman si iron, so, um, wala na yung mabilin nga transporter for binding with calcium. So, uh, kung inana ay mong supplement for how many years, so, Um, kinahanglan kung ina, kung naa kay ma-encounter ng ina ng patient uh, pwede ka mag-suspect no nga ang patient na ay calcium deficiency so pwede ka mag-order for e laboratory testing for the patient's calcium um, levels in the blood as well as siguro ka ng radiographic analysis of the bones para inspect no if naa na yung mga um, parts sa trabecular bone niya nga inani na ang dagway Okay. So that we would know um a nutritional problem behind that as well as on satong buhaton as RNDs in order to uh solve that problem. Okay, minerals are in balance with each other in the body. So inani ang interaction sa body, okay? So kani siya mahimong imbalance if grab if ga take kag ka ng sobra-sobrang supplements. So, the bottom line is that um, very complex siya, no, mga interactions, but the bottom line is that um, you just have to stick with the PDRI requirements for this um, minerals. Kay, kung unsa ang gibutang dito sa PDRI, maura view dapat to ang imuhang itik para um, para dili ma para ma-maintain ang balance and then Uh, dili ma-compromise ang absorption sa ubang minerals because minerals can be antagonistic with each other if as, uh, especially if our intake for those nutrients is imbalanced okay so ayaw pa sobra good sa mineral intake kay madaot ang absorption sa ubang minerals your phosphate um is the second most abundant mineral in the body so most or 85% of our phosphorus is found in the bones. Um, yeah, bound with calcium in the calcium hydroxyapatite. The rest is in muscles, sa sulod sa, as a cells, okay? Especially sa extracellular portion, okay? Then sa DNA nato, okay? Actually, si phosphorus lang ang mineral nga makita na to sa atong DNA as well as, as sa atong RNA. Okay? Then, kaning phosphate ni mo, very important siya in metabolism. Okay? Which, uh, uh, we will come to realize, no, when we discuss or when we reach the, um, sa ni, kaning ato ang, uh, final term. So, absorb in the small intestines, okay? Vitamin D enhances by availability, Okay? Phytate, aluminum, magnesium, and calcium decreases absorption. Okay. 
parathyroid hormone. So, this hormone, okay. Kay ni siya, no? Kay, um, na-discuss na na ako ni siya. Okay. 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 So, kanisad. Okay. Um, ang phosphorus ni mo is part po sa itong cell membrane. Okay. So, phosphate is a moiety in the lipids that are found in the cell membrane. So, that's why those lipids composing our cell membrane is called phospholipids. Okay? Kaya na ay phosphate. Na additional phosphate sa kanina nga mga fats or lipids. So, ATP, yes. <laughs> Part yun si phosphate sa ATP. And you know that ATP is the energy currency of the cell. So, phosphorus is actually uh, present in important molecules in the body. DNA, ATP, na si phosphate ni mo. Okay? So, so, that's why sometimes um, we refer to phosphorus to phosphorus as the god as the god mineral. It's because um, present siya sa mga important molecules in the body like DNA, RNA, and ATP. Oh, phosphate backbone is part of DNA and RNA in every cell. Okay. Okay. Um, food sources of phosphorus. Kung aha si calcium, naapod si phosphorus. So, di ba ang, ang food sources ni calcium is mga daily products sa milk. So, naapod si phosphorus dito. Okay. Um, plant seeds, 50% of phosphorus is bioavailable is, yeah, due to phytate. So, kaning 50% is low bioavailability ni. Kay, si phytate, mang good, kusog po na siya mo bind with phosphorus. Okay? Your soft drinks, soft drinks and colas contain phosphoric acid that is also uh, bioavailable, no, for our body. Okay? But, um, this is not a good source of phosphorus because you know that these are um, empty calories. Okay, toxicity of phosphorus is called hyperphosphatemia and then deficiency of phosphorus is hypophosphatemia. So, only with kidney disease, okay, high intake of phosphorus with low calcium intake can decrease bone mass. So, this can lead to calcium deposits in soft tissue. So, mausad ni no ang iyong timanan kung sobra-sobra po ang intake ni, mo si, ni, ni uh, sa phosphorus, then uh, pwede siya mag-lead into a uh, decrease of bone mass. Okay? Phosphorus deficiency is rare. Hypophosphatemia, yeah. This this can only happen, especially in especially in refeeding syndrome. Okay? May tabo na siya if um, sa malnourished children, no, like kanang dili gradual ang pag pag introduce ni mo og foods gibiglaan ni mo og pakaon ang mga malnourished patients then magka experience ng electrolyte imbalance and hypophosphatemia no ang usually ang cause of death sa mga patients so yeah potassium is you know the major cation in eh, intracellular feed Then, it is absorbed in the small intestines and colon and kidneys regulate balance of excreting excess. So, muscle contraction and nerve impulse, okay? Rhythmic heartbeats, regulate, regulate blood pressure when excreted. So, katong akong ingon nga um, gina, gina decrease niya ang blood pressure. Then, antagonistic yung effect, no? Compared to the sodium. Okay? Yeah, and potassium is the major intracellular electrolyte. You know that. Okay, these are the sources of your potassium. So, usually, ang food sources sa potassium ni mo are fruits and vegetables. Okay? So, yeah. Um, ang needs na to sa potassium is very important, no? Okay, so let's um kanang sa ni um atong tanawon ang PDRI. Okay, PDRI. 
It's been on sana. Ah, okay. 50 minutes. Nope, not here. Okay, kani. So, ang kinahanglan lang nato nga sodium is actually 500. 500 mg lang per day. And then ang potassium is 2000. Okay? So, notice nga mas daghan tag kinahanglan nga potassium no compared to sodium. But ang kakita po in reality is the complete opposite. Ang ato good nga intake sa sodium no moabot og 7000 mg per day. So, that's why taas kayo ang risk sa mga tao karon no in developing high blood pressure, hypertension and worse cardiovascular diseases tungod sa high sodium intake. And then as a consequence, gamay pud atong potassium intake lag like, di pud siya moabot og 2000 due to low consumption of fruits and vegetables. Okay? Yeah. So, naasad ka ng special recommendation din, no? So, potassium, we have to increase our intake to 3,510 mg. Okay, para mas mo further lower pag yun ang ato ang uh, risk of developing um, hypertension and other cardiovascular diseases. Ang sodium is dapat dili siya mula pas og 2 grams or 2,000. But, as what I've said, mo abot tag 7,000 mg, which are way beyond the recommendation. So, the minimum is 500 mg, but pwede ta mula pa sa na, as much as 19 mg sa sodium. But, uh, dapat mag-strive na nung adili siya mutaas sa 2,000 mg or 2 grams per day. Okay? So, mo ng recommendation ni PDR ay mo. Okay. So, yeah, um, you have to kanang remember, no, uh, nga among the fruits, si avocado ang daghan kaayo, okay, o potassium, and then also papaya, okay. Pineapple, mango, then ang sweet potato ni mo or ang kamote ni mo, daghan kayo na siya potassium. Okay. I remember sa mong board exam, like na ito yung question niya, um, unsa daw kuno ang right order, right increasing order of amount of potassium. So, ang mga choices are uh, fruits, one at ato, and then which among the choices daw kuno ang sakto og order nga increasing amount of potassium yeah so naay mga inana no nga uh, question sa board exam okay um hyperkalemia too much potassium in blood then hypokalemia is uh, way too low uh, of the potassium in the blood Hyperkalemia cannot occur from the food intake, uh, but it can occur with supplementation. So, hyperkalemia is a very fatal condition. And, mahitabo po ni siya, dili tungod sa diet, no, but also uh, tungod po sa mga kidney diseases. Kay, kana manggod nga mga time, kana manggod nga mga condition, disease ng kidney, dili na siya Uh, operational kaayo so uh, pwede sad makompromise ang iyahang pag-excrete sa potassium so um, mostly if kanang naanay si KD or chronic KD disease ang patient um, unsa ni um, dili na siya able to uh, control potassium levels so, so that's why 
um, pwede siya mag to hyperkalemia. Yeah, hypokalemia is an equally fatal condition. Dili po siya maayo. Okay. So, next is sulfate. Okay. Ang sulfate, makita na to sa methionine and cysteine. So, you know that these are um, amino acids. Okay. So, they are actually found in uh, proteins. So, kung unsa nga itong mga foods no, that are rich in methionine and cysteine or proteins in general, naapod ang sulfate ni Mudiha. So, mga protein sources, taas po na sila sulfate. Then, um, the vitamins that have sulfur atom uh, or that have sulfur in their chemical structure are thiamine, vitamin B1, and biotin, vitamin B7. Okay, um, sulfate is absorbed throughout the GI tract. About 80% of sulfate consumed is absorbed and kidneys excrete excess sulfur. So, parts of the amino acid, yeah, that's what I've said. Um, sulfite uh, is usually used as a preservative. So, katong mga processed foods na to, especially mga processed meats, um, gakontain yun na sila sulfite. And, of course, kaning sulfite can also be the dietary source of sulfate. And usually, kaning mga, sulf, uh, mga sulfites, daghan mga tao, ano yung intolerant, ani, and then they would experience ka ng symptoms, especially kaning mga na IG6PD, bawal sa ilaha ang mga sulfite-rich foods, so kanang mga processed meats. Kaya mag-show ang ilang symptoms every time magkaon sila sulfite-rich foods. Okay? Um, sulfate, there is no toxicity or deficiency symptom of sulfate. Sodium, okay, the most important electrolyte and it's the major extracellular mineral. So, this is a cation that is usually combined with chloride forming your salt. So, that's why your main dietary source of sodium is salt, sodium chloride. So that's why kaning sodium niyo is related yun with salt or kanang mga mga parat, okay? Kay oh okay, 40% sa imong sodium chloride is sodium. 60% of your sodium chloride, uh, yeah, of your sodium chloride is chloride. So 40% sodium, 60% chloride. So mao na imo hang asin or sodium chloride. So that's why if you will be asked um kung naay 2000 mg of salt pila lugar ang sodium ana so i multiply lang nimo sa 40% ang 2000 di ba or ang given nga amount sa salt so so for that example 2000 so 2000 times 40% i think that's 800 mg so therefore 800 mg ang sodium nga naa sa 2000 mg nga asin okay kay 40% tama ang sodium then 60% ang chloride okay so, yeah, very important na siya guys, especially in estimating the amount of sodium that is found in foods. So, say for example, uh, you know kung pila ang gibutang asin diha. Say for example, 1 teaspoon. So, ang 1 teaspoon is 5 grams or 5,000 milligrams of sodium chloride. So, kung pangutan on kapila lugar ang sodium diha, nga 1 teaspoon of salt ang gibutang. So, since 5,000 milligrams, so 40% man ang sodium, so 5,000 times 40%, so pila na. Okay, so atong isolve. So, 5,000 times oh, wait. 5,000 times 0. 0, uh, 0. 0.4 So, 2,000. Okay? So, 2,000 milligrams or 2 grams of that is sodium. Okay? So, um, primarily in uh, involved in regulating blood volume and blood pressure because again uh, para mo taas ang blood volume kinahanglan i conserve si sodium uh, so you know that kung mo taas ang blood volume mo taas sa blood pressure 
Okay, so dili pud maayo pud nga mubo pud ang blood pressure. Kinangdan nga normal pud ang blood pressure, dili pud siya mubo. So that's why mao nang function ni sodium nimo para um ma-regulate ang blood pressure. Okay, or regulates blood volume, okay? So um Sodium is also like actually yeah part yah pun si sodium sa hydroxyapatite crystals in the bone. Okay, then it is very important in the generation and transmission of nerve impulse, and at the generation of muscle movement through muscle contraction, which ako na ako lang idiscuss unya sa separate nga PowerPoint kaya na im inanat nyo. Okay, so yeah table salt. So katong ako angi chika nga forty percent sixty percent. Okay, okay. So remember the renin angiotensin aldosterone hormonal system. Okay, we discuss na ako na. Yeah, we discuss na ako na. Okay. Ah, sa impulse transmission, so mao ni katong ingon nako. So sodium plays a role in nerve impulse transmission and participates in muscle contraction. So helps transport some nutrient and preserves and enhances food flavor through ah salt, di ba? sa so, pampalamig man yun ng salt so you know that part of the salt is sodium okay para sa actually maabsorb si glucose uh, sa ato ang small intestines kinahanglan si sodium sad okay so usually para ma para maabsorb nato si glucose kinahanglan sad maabsorb si sodium so simport so this type of transporter is a simport because um It does not only absorb glucose, but also, ah, together with glucose, sodium is also absorbed. Okay. Then, kung ano siya, guys, um, kanang required ni, kaya kung wala yung sodium, dili ma absorb si glucose. Okay. So maul maulagi na nga, ang mga rehydrating solutions dapat dili lang glucose ang naadya, but also asin sad. Okay. Kay, um para maabsorb po si glucose. Kay kinanglan man si sodium para maabsorb si glucose. Okay, so mao po na ang explanation nga nung para ma-rehydrate ang isa ka patient. Ah, uh, maghimo tag oral rehydration, rehydration solution then ang ingredient is water, sugar and salt. Okay, because salt um specifically sodium helps in glucose absorption. And also water because you know that water follows sodium, okay? Through osmosis, you know that. So some facts and figure. Okay, most of the um, kanang sani, most of the um food sources of sodium are processed foods. Okay, canned goods. Okay, basa mga packaged foods. Taas yun ng sodium, no? Okay. Yeah. Um, the excess of or too much sodium levels in the blood is called hypernatremia, and hyponatremia is the opposite. Both are very dangerous. Okay. Maupod ni ang kaapan po daning mga major minerals no kay. Both toxicity and deficiency kay fatal. Okay, unlike um kaning uban mang good um kaning uban nga mga deficiencies sa ubang mineral uh, sa imo, sa ubang nutrients kung ma deficient or ma toxic dili kaayo siya nga abrupt nga fatal. Kani mang good hypernatremia ay kani mang good mga min, macro minerals na to because, because they are electrolytes. So for example if um na deficient or na toxic ang ilang level sa blood Um, the fatal effect can be abrupt, so that's why very important yun nga maintain ang electrolyte levels, especially when we deal in the clinical setting. Dili yun dapat nga magdugay nga na ngagaka experience ang body o electrolyte imbalance because that can be abruptly fatal. Okay. Chloride. This is also a major electrolyte. Ah, remember that chloride is the major anion in the extracellular portion. Anion, it's because it's negatively charged. Okay. Then chloride is of course found in salt, 
bound with sodium. So, 60% sa sodium chloride. Uh, probably, the most peculiar um, function of chloride to you is that chloride is part of the hydrochloric acid, which is the gastric acid. So, that's why very important ang chloride in the digestion digestion process because without chloride hydrochloric acid would not be formed okay so that's why it's a very important uh, macro mineral guys dapat dili dili ninyo itawagon nga chloride as chlorine because chlorine is a powerful disinfectant and poisonous if inhaled or ingested so mao nang chlorine nga makita ninyo sa tubig okay lahi ang chloride okay yeah, but they are the same atom. But si chlorine, mangguni mo, mas pure ni siya nga form of chloride atom. Then, yeah, ang chloride is nutritional, mangguni, dietary, mangguni. Okay, yeah, it's an electrolyte. It's a part of the hydrochloric acid. Okay, so therefore, it's it also participates in not just fluid balance, but also um electrolyte balance and pH balance. Yeah. Okay. Um, wala tay PDRI for chloride. It's because um, makit an raman siya readily from our food. So, deficiency of chloride is not a concern. Okay. Although um, too much chlorine in the blood can also be fatal. So, ang tawag is hyperchloremia. Okay. The deficiency is very rare. Ang hypochloremia is also very rare. But kung may tabu, siya mauna mga symptoms. Magnesium, the last but not the least macro mineral. So, 60% of magnesium is found in the bones. Also, um, part of the hydroxyapatite, 25% in muscles, then the rest in cells. Because magnesium also acts um, as a major player in the muscle contraction. Actually, in muscle relaxation. Okay, sige. So, ako na lang ingon ka rin, no? Si calcium, siya ang major mineral in muscle contraction. But in muscle relaxation, si magnesium na ang incharged. Okay? So, muscle relaxant si magnesium ni mo. While si muscle contractor ni mo, it's calcium. Okay? Bioavailability is about 50%. So, therefore, Kung 2,000 mg, for example, lang atong intake, expect nga 1,000 mg lang ultimately magamit sa body. So, that's why 50% lang yung bioavailability. Yeah, phytates also bind magnesium heavily. So, that's why yeah, anti-nutrient kaya puning phytates sa magnesium. Okay, um, the food source of magnesium is green leafy vegetables because remember guys ang ang structural um ang chemical structure ni magnesium uh, ni ni, chlor, ni chlorophyll ni mo is ang sa tunga niya is magnesium so the central atom or the central portion of the chlorophyll is occupied by a magnesium atom so that's why kung aha ang green leafy vegetable ay kung yeah, kung aha si chlorophyll so of course, you know that chlorophyll is a green pigment, so naa siya sa mga green leafy vegetables, so therefore, taas po siya og magnesium so that's why green leafy vegetables appeal dere. and also avocado, yeah mga plant foods okay yeah, ang most of the magnesium toxicity or, ha, or hypermagnesemia um, tungod sa intake of supplements. Okay? Uh, magnesium deficiency is also rare, but it can happen uh, in alcoholics as well as in those who have uncontrolled diabetes. Then, some medications can also cause deficiency because due to drug-nutrient interactions. S symptoms of hypomagnesemia include muscle weakness, seizures, fatigue, depression, and irregular heartbeats. And it can lead to tetany. So, tetany is kanang mauna siya, no, ng uh, unbalanced coordination or absence of coordination between the muscles and then the nerves. Okay? 
yeah um a deficiency of magnesium can also um cause bone loss because you know that magnesium is also a an important part of the hydroxyapatite okay so those are your macro minerals okay so yeah um kung gusto ninyo nga like ma summarize to siyang discussion na naan naman siya dere so kani mga macro minerals nim okay pito sila okay yeah so you just have to um read this para um uh, remind mo sa summary okay so um tungaon siguro na ko nga video no like para dili kayo taas ang isa ka video then para dili mo maglisod o download okay it's because it's been uh, 1 hour and 10 minutes na so for the micro minerals uh, another na said nga video okay so yeah I have to end um, the recording here